Hey guys, if you're watching this video, I'm currently live streaming and uh, we've got people live as well. So it might be a bit of a weird video, but I just want to, I'm just, yeah, I'm live streaming. And I just wanted to show people this in action. I basically just connected the Puppeteer MCP. I was having some problems with my SAS. I've just massively improved what it looks like, but there are loads and loads and loads of problems um, with uh, text on background and things like that that are just completely ruining the new look. You can see it's done a phenomenal job of making it look amazing, but there is loads and loads of issues. Now, one of the problems with Claude Code is you can't easily send a screenshot to Claude Code. So, uh, you know, I, I asked it to try and fix this. It didn't fix it. But now I added the Puppeteer MCP, and what it does is it's slowly but surely going through the entire website and fixing everything. So like, it should refresh the, uh, the page here on um, Puppeteer, and then we, it should see whether it's actually fixed the issue or whether it's not fixed. So if we just go log out here, it should have already made these changes. It hasn't made them yet. So the login page is now better contrast, apparently. Oh, it did have better contrast. Yeah, you can see. You can't really see access code, but generally speaking, this is a huge improvement on what it was before. You couldn't really see any of it before. So for some reason, access code isn't uh, quite the right color, but that's okay. So now it moves on to this section here. Um, it's on light mode at the minute. I didn't actually realize it had a light mode and a dark mode. The light mode is fine. The actual issue is more with the dark mode, so I will just mention that. I didn't actually know there was a light mode and dark mode. The issue is more with dark mode than light mode. Be aware of this. So for some reason, when it logged in there, it's on light mode and I'm on dark mode. I'm not really sure how to even change <laughs> to light mode or dark mode. It doesn't even seem to be a button to do that, but that's AI coding for you. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a way to actually change it, so I'm not actually sure how to, how to change it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this is kind of AI coding in a nutshell. I actually have no idea what this, um, what, what, how this is different. Like this is what it looks like on Chromium. Wait, that's not the issue at all. I don't understand what's going on. Why does this look so different on Chromium compared to... Is it not on dark mode? What is going on here? Oh, it's because my Chrome is on dark mode. That's why. Uh, my Chrome is on dark mode. That's the issue. I just realized that. Can you launch Chromium on dark mode? Is that even a thing? Yeah, I mean... Okay, so this is what it actually looks like. Which isn't so bad. The problem is my Chromium is on dark mode. I can launch Chromium in dark mode. Let me restart Puppeteer with dark mode settings. Okay, so that's pretty cool. You can launch it on dark mode. That's good. Four dark mode. Yeah, nice. Okay, so now it's going to do all of that again. But I'm just going to quickly say, wouldn't we need a light mode and dark mode toggle for people, depending on whether they're on dark mode or light mode? Shout out to everyone who's been watching the streams recently. I really appreciate it, guys. I just wanted to quickly show you guys this system in action. I showed you at the very beginning because basically it fixed this error that was in dark mode and in light mode. So there was an issue with the contrast here. You couldn't read this using the Puppeteer MCP. It's actually insane how good this feature is. It's completely free to use. It means that you can send screenshots to Claude Code without messing around. If you don't know, what you previously had to do was you'd have to take a screenshot like this, save it to paint, save it as something like, please help me too, because obviously I've already got something called please help me, and then write to Claude Code and say, look at please help 
me to.png and fix it, right? So you actually don't need to worry about that anymore, which is super, super nice. Basically, now, instead of going through your entire project piece by piece, editing this and saying, oh, can you change this text? Can you change that text? You can have a self-improving system that will do that for you, which is an insane improvement. Okay, so now you can see we've added a dark mode, we've added a light mode. Now we can kind of test both at the same time. I'm going to leave this system running for probably an hour or so to see whether it can fix all of the issues. So you can see here on light mode, we have a white on white text. Hopefully it will pick that up and hopefully it will fix that. Now the only issue is how do you swap to dark mode, light mode here. Perfect login page works well in both light and dark modes, not really. So there's still a little bit of confusion. It's still AI at the end of the day. It's still, you know, the blind leading the blind. And we're still just hoping that it can actually fix these things. But this is a huge improvement on my previous system of UI UX, which would be me taking a screenshot or me telling it to fix specific things in the application one by one, which obviously takes forever. So this is what the project looks like now. This is looking a lot better. We'll just see, um, we'll just leave it and see how it goes and see what it can fix. Hopefully by the end of this process, pretty much everything will be fixed. Now for some reason on my computer or on my local host, it looks terrible, but on, um, on, the, on the Chromium, for some reason it looks really, really good. I'm not really sure what's happening there, but yeah, we'll, we'll fix this and we'll get this out. I just wanted to make this video, show you guys the setup, show you guys the system. I hope you enjoyed and I'm going to get back to live streaming. Peace out.